Okay. Uh, all right, so I'm just going to just put this video together as a quick sort of tutorial for those of you that are getting a lot of crashing in GTA 5. Um, and something that fixed it for me, for my crashing, I haven't had a single crash since I've done this particular process. Um, first thing I'd get you to do is, if you've got lots of crashes, go into your event viewer and find your error messages. So if you go Windows Logs, then application, and then find your error messages that relate to GTA 5. Check your faulting module name, um, and I would Google that. So if you've got something that's not GTA 5.exe, it's probably a different issue like graphics drivers or something along those lines. Um, some people had issues with their VPN conflicting with the game. Um, but if you've got it like this, like me, where you've got GTA 5.exe as the faulting module, um, there's a couple of different things you can do to actually fix it and it's fixed mine for good. So the first thing is if you've got the Steam install, right click it, so right click your GTA 5 in your Steam library, do a verify, um, and any files that are not, like if they're corrupt or whatever, then it'll just re-download them. For me, I didn't get it through Steam, I've got it through just Rockstar, so um, the launcher that Rockstar gives you is absolute crap, and you can't change settings, you can't set download limits, it disconnected my internet a whole bunch of times and I think it's got a bunch of files that basically just didn't come through properly. Uh, so I'll just tell you how to, ver to manually verify your files. So just open up command prompt. You want to right click and run it as, as administrator. Um, navigate to your game install. Uh, Okay, so once you're in your install folder, so you want to type in whatever, wherever you are, if it's on your C drive, type in just CD and then the file path um, to get to your install folder. Once you're there, just type in GTA 5 launcher.exe dash verify. And once you do that, when you hit that, it'll execute the launcher uh, there you go. It'll execute the launcher and it'll verify all your game files. And if it's like what the issue that I had with mine, uh, it'll find the shitty files and basically re-download the ones that are corrupt. So by doing this, I fixed all my crashes. Hopefully this helps you. Um, hopefully it's a short video too. So yeah, let me know if it helps for you guys too. Cheers.